Mr. President, uh, it is with great pleasure and honor to be standing here today with you, together with the Swedish Prime Minister Magdalena Andersson. We are here for a very good reason. Together we are taking a historic step by seeking to join the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. Finland has made its uh, decision after a rapid but a very thorough process. The process has once again revealed the strength of Finnish democracy. Starting from the strong public support, the decision was made with an overwhelming parliamentary majority and it also <coughs> uh, enjoys uh, huge, strong popular support. I want to thank you, Mr. President, uh, for your steadfast support throughout this process. In early March, I visited White House and uh, you encouraged us to go further. That was uh, of vital importance to our process. Your statement uh, yesterday and our trilateral meeting today are a testimony of enduring commitment the United States has made to European and uh, transatlantic security. I want to assure that Finland will become a strong NATO ally. We take our security very seriously. The Finnish armed forces are one of the strongest in Europe. We have also consistently invested in developing our capabilities. The Finns' willingness to defend their country is one of the highest in the whole world. We are ready to contribute to the security of the whole alliance, making the commitment to mutual security guarantees that being a NATO ally entails. Now that we have taken this uh, first decisive step, it is time for NATO allies to wait in. We hope for strong support from all allies and uh, for a swift ratification of our membership once it's uh, agreed. I believe that uh, the United States can set a crucially important example to others. The Turkish leadership has recently expressed concerns about our membership application. I want to address these concerns today. Finland has always had broad and good bilateral relations to Turkey. As uh, NATO allies, we will commit to Turkey's security just as Turkey will commit to our security. We take terrorism seriously, we condemn terrorism in all its forms, and we are actively engaged in combating it. We are open to discussing all the concerns. Turkey may have concerning our membership in an open and uh, constructive manner. These discussions have already taken place and they will continue in the next days. 24th February, I said that uh, the masks have fallen and we see only the cold faces of war. Russia's war in Ukraine has changed Europe and uh, our security environment. Finland takes the step of a NATO membership in order to strengthen not only its own security, but also in order to strengthen wider transatlantic uh, security. This is not away from anybody. Like you, Mr. President, said, NATO is protective, defensing, not a threat to anybody. At uh, the same time, we must uh, not forget that uh, at this very moment, the brave people of Ukraine are fighting not only for their own freedom and democracy, but for our common security. 
Finland, together with the EU and the United States, stands firmly behind Ukraine. So, Mr. President, once again, I want to thank you for making history with us. Thank you. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.